Hello there. I hope everybody had a wonderful Sunday. Mine was pretty good. My son and I, and my son's 49 years old, him and I play Pokemon. And we're a team, and we go after other Pokemons. And of course, he's the team leader. I picked up a few things when I was out. Uh, there's a small strip mall uh, two blocks away from me. It's a local. And they had these uh, plastic pumpkins, and I've got white paint on it. Didn't come that way. It was black. And I paid a dollar for it. It's already got the gold stem, which I'm going to try to keep. But I'm going to pour that one day this week. This happens to be Caesar dog food containers. And I thought that might be a nice swipe. And I've got this full range. That's going to be another one. I'm setting myself up for Wednesday and Friday. I got this ashtray. And people that don't smoke anymore use these ashtrays to put jewelry in at night or a watch or anything else. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of my pouring on there one of these days. Uh, this is going to be a sink stopper. And sink strain sink strainer or whatever you want to call it but this one I found at Ace Hardware 50 cents they call it their discount rack but everything that goes in there is 50 cents okay I removed the bottom plastic black thing and this thing comes right out Nope, that would be off balance. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not using these colors. That will be my next video. I'm using coconut milk. Hair serum. And I found that in Cleveland, Ohio, your hair just goes crazy. It don't matter if you use a curling iron or not, your hair goes nuts. And that coconut milk serum works great. At CVS, when I went through, I got a coupon for $5 off. Well, the coconut milk serum is eight something. Eight and change. I used my $5 off on a bottle of hair serum. Coconut milk hair serum. So, I've got a whole big bottle. Once I'm using it on myself and in my paintings, I need to and I may do that a couple of times so that I can get the serum for you know under four dollars I wanted to show you this I know this cabinet just looks terrible but what happened was I smoke and I burned a cigarette ash that burnt my canvas well, while I was in the trash, yes, I'm a dumpster driver, trash picker, I found blue canvas. So I, you know, I'm not going to use that as a cleanup rag. So I cut a piece and glued it to the back with Elmer's glue all. When that set up and was firm, then I had already cut this little guy out of the uh, shape that it had to be and I have repaired this canvas and this canvas has been sitting around here for a while and no fear all my paintings that get varnished they go into a special room that nobody smokes in because my grandchildren stay over in that room. And uh, that's where I do 
uh, varnishing and and then packaging my canvases so this will go right into that room after I'm done with it and it won't be subject to that okay this this uh, sink strainer you got three then a solid piece then three solid piece three solid piece so that isn't typical and then when you lift it you've got a bunch of holes in the bottom so I'm gonna try that everything has coconut milk serum except my black and my white now I'm gonna try to get away with putting not a whole lot of uh, paint on here but background paint because what's going to happen is I go through paints like crazy I will use paints that I don't need to use as much but I, have to, I am conserving by reusing my gloves cleaning out stuff and and I've even found canvases in my first of the month trash throw out night big canvases one canvas is as big as one of my windows in my living room but it had texture on it so I've been working at trying to remove the texture. Okay. I'm going to start this. I'm going to use white. Now white does, this white does not have, wait a minute, I need to start out with the background. I had to remove all the water from my pre-made paints and my medium which the water will go to the top and as long as you don't shake it the top little bit which is going to be water because that's been my problem ever since the cold weather took over my cells have been breaking up and in trying to fix the situation I've ended up just mudding up my colors this is my house paint with flow draw <coughs> I've had this guy since I was nine years old my father brought me bought me a, a complete kit set of oil paints brushes and of course I used it all up because up until this I was not an avid acrylic painter I was oil painting and then waiting six weeks for the uh, red to dry that takes the longest and at the time I had cats and the cats would walk across the paintings even when I put them on top of a cabinet cats will do the strangest thing when you go to bed they take over I had a painting on the top of a TV set one next to the TV set and uh, I went to bed and the next morning I had foot kitty foot prints all across the top of my TV set it really didn't hurt my painting but uh, their paw prints was 
there for the life of the TV, and it was a black and white zenith, because for the longest time I could never afford being a mother on my own, trying to raise my son, you know, a color TV. So I was raised around black and white, and that was just as good to me. Nowadays it's color, and I'm still into black and white movies. I guess that stems from my childhood. My son has strep throat and he doesn't have any idea where he got it. The kids came home uh, and they, from school and nothing's been mentioned at school and the schools usually tell the parents that the strep throat's going around so he thinks he got it on the job site. So being a good mom I took him some hard candies and some chicken noodle soup. Uh, this is this is rare t than the last couple of videos because I didn't uh, do the edges. I'm just making it boring. That's all. <laughs> I just miss talking to you all. I've subscribed to some people. And, uh, they didn't have very many videos out this weekend. I usually sit and watch other people's art. And I've got quite a few that I subscribe to. There's a fella in Germany, and then a lady in Holland. There's a, a lady by the name of Mylene, and she's having to deal with cancer, and she has like a three or four year old daughter and bless her heart she is up there painting and if you all know who I'm talking about her paintings her money from her paintings go to the cancer society so that on there. I've really got to watch this because my table is not level. Okay, I'm using Deco Art Paints Tucson Red. I've got a pumpkin color orange that I made up, and then I've got a mixture of two different yellows and I've got the ser uh, coconut milk serum already in here no I don't want to mix yellow with black I end up with this horrible green color we'll do the orange This 
then the yellow. And then the red. What's going to do a swipe? But then I decided no, this this thing was good enough. I wanted to try. This sink strainer. Okay, well, it's showing that it's tilting this way. The spore will go on. Dug on it. I want to put yellow, but no. I'm going to put some more red in. And then I can put yellow. Got streaks of the background here and here. A little one going there, a little one there. It's looking pretty good. Now, if when I pull this up, it looks funky, I'm going to take my airbrush to it.
getting the swirling going on. It's because I'm tipping it. I want to thank everybody that helped me figure out what my problem was with my paints. A lot of helpful people out there. Interesting, what kind of mess you can get. Okay, here we go. What have I got to catch this with? I guess I got one of my fruit cups. This individual fr fruit cup, I must have at least 200, 300 of them now because I love red grapefruits. Okay, that kind of looks cool. I'm going to take my women's hair, hair chopstick and see if I can get rid of this white because there's very few white. Oh, I didn't. Um, I didn't hit it with the torch. But I, I don't know what I put silicone in and what I didn't. Yellow didn't have any silicone. This this edge over here 
has got more uh, white showing. So I'm going to get that in there. Now my black and yellow did mix, which I didn't particularly like. But overall, I think this was pretty nice. I didn't get any actions going on hardly in the yellow. And I'm pretty happy with the center, which I'm moving it. Wow, that's a lot of paint. Okay, this is much better than the last one I did with this color combination. Well, I hope you enjoyed being with me. And uh, I'll see you next time. You have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.